And now, please welcome Dom Brightmon to deliver a talk on three C's for explosive growth. Ah, thank you, Sister Merceditas. Thank you so much. Love that presentation, especially when you mentioned compassion and adaptability, because that is something that we are going to need regardless of the times that we are in. When it comes to my speaking, I like to engage folks. So wherever you are right now, even though you're muted, repeat after me. Let's get some affirmations going. I feel happy. I feel healthy. I feel fabulous. How does everyone feel? Feel free to say how you feel in the chat box. Want to get the engagement going without the engagement rings because we got 40 people in the room and 40 engagement rings from one person. That would put a debt in my bank account, so I don't want that to happen. But I do believe in the engagement, though. Thank you, Dr. Mansour, for this opportunity. More importantly, bring inner greatness out. If you're going to bring inner greatness out in this year and beyond, no matter where you are, where you're from, what you intend to do in the future, forevermore, you're going to be needing to have these three wonderful C's I'm going to share with you. They are, these are three C's for explosive growth because they've helped me in my life. They've helped many others in their lives, and it will help you listening right now. The first C this is a pen moment. This is going to be a pen moment for the next four minutes. The first C, curiosity. Curiosity. Some say always be closing. Some say always be connecting. In addition to that connection, you have to also be curious. When it comes to curiosity, ask yourself a powerful question. How can I? Some of you may be wondering, where's the rest of the question, Dom? Well, that's the question. How can I? This ties in with curiosity because when it comes to building your personal brain, you have to get within yourself. Inner wealth comes from within when you get internal. You have to intentionally seek in, seek in yourself. Because every single one of you have greatness within you. Even during the networking break about a good 80 minutes before we officially began at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, one of the attendees popped in and said, hey, I'm, I'm pretty much uh, Jill of all trades, since she was a lady. Can't really call her Jack, don't want to offend nobody. And that wasn't even a name, period. But she also made us laugh during the networking break before more of you came into the Zoom room. Humor is one of the greatest tools if you're going to bring your inner greatness out, because if you can make people laugh, you can make them buy. If you can make them laugh, you can help them to heal from their situation because one of the greatest things you can do for someone is to help them have a laugh if they haven't laughed all day all month or all year c number two commitment commitment when you're curious about yourself and your greatness once you find that greatness take action on what you can do another question you can write down i said this is going to be a pen moment for the next four minutes question number two you can write down is how can I add more value to more people in less time? How can I add more value to more people in less time? One of my mentors gave me that question about a good, I can't believe, almost seven years ago now. One of the ways that I do that is by having a podcast. For those who read the bio when you registered, Host of the Going North podcast, check it out. Quite a few attendees in this room have been on the show, including our following speaker after me and, of course, Dr. Mansoor, and I'm sure a couple others will hop on in the future. And being able to highlight fellow writers who put pen to paper and join the business of immortality is a great way to add value because they get a platform to get their voices out there and shared with the world, and they get to have a piece of content that they can promote forever. The third and final C, consistency. Being curious is a great thing, but it's one thing. You have to follow up with that curiosity by being committed, taking action. And once you take action, always be consistent with that action because that will set you apart. Because a lot of folks started podcasts in 2020. Microphones were sold out April of 2020. And we had a whole bunch of podcasts start, but a whole lot of them pod faded. They stopped after a few episodes. And when they stopped after a few episodes... They 
had to get back to their job and their regular work, but I kept going and a few others kept going. So if you want to bring your inner greatness out, always be curious, always commit to taking action, and always being consistent no matter what.